going to study about intensifying screens. So what is an intensifying screen? Screen which intensify the effect of incoming X-ray photons on the film. So these are known as intensifying screens. They absorb incoming X-ray photons and re-emit this incoming X-ray energy in the form of light photons with the help of passport crystals in the intensifying screen. The amount of extra energy which is absorbed is directly proportional to the amount of extra energy to which the screen is subjected. So, we are combining intensifying screen on either side of the film. Such a combination results in an image receptor system which is 10 to 60 times more sensitive to X-rays. Thus, the duration of exposure is reduced, contrast is improved, radiation backscattering is minimized with the help of intensifying screens. So, the basic function of an intensifying screen is to convert incoming X-ray photons into visible light photons. Now let's study about the components of an intensifying screen. So it has coat, passport layer, reflecting layer and base. So this coat is about 15 to 25 micrometer in size. So this coat protects the passport layer from mechanical insults. So this coat is made up of plastic largely composed of cellulose. Cellulose is nothing but wood based bioplastic that is made from trees and this cellulose can be mixed with a polymer. So this is about coat. Next is passport layer. The thickness of passport layer is about 40 to 100 micrometer. So this passport layer comprises of passport crystals which are suspended in a plastic material. So when the passport crystals are struck by incoming extra photons, these passport crystals absorb the extra energy and they re-emit this extra energy as visible light photons or visible light energy. Even a single extra photon which is absorbed in an intensifying screen generates many light photons. So that leads to increased film exposure. How high energy extra photons are getting converted to low energy light photons? The mechanism or main principle behind this conversion is fluorescence. When high energy extra photons interacts with phosphor atom, there will be excitation. Excitation is nothing but movement of an initial electron towards the outer shell. When this electron which is moved towards the outer shell returns back to its original ground state, there will be emission of low energy light photons. That is known as fluorescence. Types of passports which are used in dental screens are calcium tungstate and rare earth passports. So calcium tungstate that fluoresces or emit light in blue portion of the spectrum. Whereas rare earth passports fluoresces or they emit light in the green portion of the spectrum. Rare earth passports includes cadolinium oxysulfite, thelium activated lanthanum oxybromide. And this rare earth passports are four times more efficient when compared to calcium tungstate. And other passports like zinc sulfide, zinc cadmium sulfide, barium lead phosphate can also be used as passports in dental intensifying screens. Next is reflecting layer. The thickness of reflecting layer is 25 micrometer. So this reflecting layer is made up of magnesium oxide or titanium dioxide. When X-ray photons interact with this active passport layer, light photons are emitted in all directions. The reflective layer redirect those emitted light towards the film. So next is base which is the supporting component of the screen which is made up of polyester plastic like the one which is used for radiographic film and the thickness of base is about 0.25 millimeter. 
why intensifying screens are placed on either side of the film because film is coated with emulsion on both the sides hence the reaction is happening on both the sides of the film that's why we are using intensifying screens on both the sides of the film so by using intensifying screens we are making the film more sensitive to x-ray photons so the dose to the patient is limited so that is the major advantage of using intensifying screen the major disadvantage of using an intensifying screen is that it produces images with less resolution this is because of the gap which is present between the intensifying screen and the film and also because of the light photons diverging light photons which are emitted in all directions and another disadvantage of using an intensifying screen is that it produces mottling mottling is nothing but irregular pattern of density this occurs because of the non uniformity in the coating of fluorescent passper crystal so all these are about intensifying screens